<laughs> okay, we laugh. <laughs> it's Daijiling back again, and we left off with this guy looking for me. What is that? have to uh, play this again in my free time. Ooh, another totem. I think this one's white. This is gonna be the way. Yeah, I agree. Shit, shit, shit. Run, run, run.
been better just running up that instead of running that one. Poor reaction time. What the hell? Calm down, it was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Wait, 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 what? There was this, this thing, whatever it was. I don't know. You can relax, Joshua's messing with us. You're not we... listening to me. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found oh it. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know, I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks, when we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, my... Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Door. You ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to get the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Open the door. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Ah, oh, what? The? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. 
I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the Wendigo! To me, it's true. But it don't belong For to real? the Washingtons. This <laughs> mountain Sorry. belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. And going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... We need to call the Winchester. Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me. Circle of salt and do everything whatever. I tell you. <clears throat> A Wendigo, huh? This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Aww. Hey. Come back safe. Come on. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's, uh, <clears throat> what, what, what's a guy got to know? The wind You just be high. careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. And their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? some pattern, like any animal, or human. You mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh, pro-Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they wouldn't be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. 
see you if you're standing still. Mm. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on change of the movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Sorry. Damn it! If these things, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they think? Oh no. Damn it, what happened? Ah, oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, <clears throat> the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Might still be near. Shit. Wait. No more. Run. Go. Now. Now. so good up there right now understatement of the night chris where's the flamethrower guy uh yeah he uh he didn't make it no what happened the thing it uh, tore him apart right in front of me oh god all right these are all the doors yeah are you sure what are you looking for another way out mike look i really don't think that's a good idea we should stay put right here until dawn at least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, <laughs> he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. 
I'm gonna get that key, right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that <clears throat> old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There had been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing. It just oh, it, it oh, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you... You could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said so, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, Em. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do it! I'm really sorry. right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. <sighs> Shit. Fuck, fuck. <sighs> Keep an eye on her. If you see anything <clears throat> weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. I thought that, that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. Only a few men of dare. I don't know if I can. To hunt the Wendigo, I am the only one. This guy's a little OCD. <clears throat> section of the journal about how cannibalism causes the wendigo curse only a few men have dared to hunt the wendigo i am the only man who has ever kept them under control 
Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism, when a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms. When he has no eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. <clears throat> There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their, sto their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In, in 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives and, or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. Uh, one by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. There may be defenses shamans wrote of rituals i have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them totems bunches of herbs and feathers i had copied their designs i have test tested them out on the mountain they work they keep the wind to go at bay not entirely but enough but inside buildings they do not work cree legends say that the wendigo grows from the bite of another wendigo but the bite is harmless I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Good, so I made the right decision in not killing her. Um, oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see um, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? He didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's no excuse. No. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Please, for Emily, this. please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so I sorry. I forgot to turn off notifications. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like now. Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, 
actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible <clears throat> isolation. I think I understand what's going on with the Wendigo. But I don't want to reveal my theory. Mostly because it's just... Um, oh my god, guys, thank god! What took you so long? It's not so good up there well, right it now. It might seem oh, he's obvious gone. by now. We're too late. Shh, watching. quiet. It might not. Um, uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. Uh, but... What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <laughs> um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, my God. You did the right thing. Thank you very much for watching that video. Click on the upper Wait, left to subscribe and check out Unturned. Check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel, and then check out Five Nights at Freddy's. Alright, we're gonna find um, we'll continue in the next video. <laughs> also, make sure you click on the uh, Brain and Behavior YouTube, logo there so you can check out the, the charity video. drive that we're doing for them right now. Also, thank you very much, and goodbye, everyone.